Proby, the startling pop star of the 60s, a normal fuss when he splits his trousers on stage. I'm not surprised, his first three hits were homey together somewhere. James Oakes of Moston remembers him well. I want to know, did his trousers split by accident or was it just a publicity stunt? And he asks, where is he now? Peter Proby was born James Marcus Smith on the 6th of November 1938 in Houston, Texas. Facts went to track him down. Inquiry to America brought no response. But finally, our search led us to this remote part of the Yorkshire countryside, living in a bunkhouse in the grounds of Condon Hall in Stanbury near Bradford. There's a place for us. Some of a place. Peace and quiet and a open air. This is where I actually should be. What I live on? Oh, I live on the DHSS. Mm. <laughs> Simple as that. In the 60s. Mm-hmm. That's a new pair of dancing shoes, isn't it? <laughs> the, good, the good fairy came every day. And left something under your pillow. Like a, like a, like a million pound note. <laughs> when I went, when I went on stage, I, I had them, I had these, um, pants and everything that were so tight because I wanted all my body muscles. I was about 195 pounds. And I'd just come off the football grid to show. And uh, I didn't think there was anything, anything wrong with, sh with, if, if uh, anything split that wasn't around the crotch area, you know, and it never was. And then when the, when the pants split and everything, and uh, MP's wives went wild and said, and said, get him out of the country, obscene, obscenity, 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 obscenity. Uh, they jumped in with the press the next day saying, uh, you know, PJ Proby obscene, uh, and all the, um, a lot of, and need Rolls Royces anymore. I don't need Lear Jets anymore. I don't need the fast life anymore. Somebody. 